But Nikki Williams is here for the rest of the week filling in for the fabulous Kara Kinnear who's having some time off with her family. And I'm so happy not just to have you here because I've missed you, but you're diving into a good one today. We're talking about mental strength, fortitude. I know. Tell me. Actual mental strength, which of course is just as important as your very strong legs, well, you know. Yeah. Some people are a little stronger than others when it comes to being mentally tough, but really it's all about just changing your outlook. So we had some people from the employment company Ladders give us some hints Love on it. how to maybe become a little more mentally strong. Okay, I can't wait. Let's well, dive in. The first one is you've got to fight even when you already feel defeated. If you quit when things get tough, it gets that much easier to just quit the next time. But if you force yourself through it, of course, what is it all together? What doesn't kill, kill you, you makes, makes you stronger. stronger. Yes. You know, so you gotta plow through even when it seems like you can't, you gotta keep going. I mean, it sounds easier said than done, right. but you, you have to. Right, that's where you just gotta reach back somewhere, whether it's your heart, your mind, wherever it's coming from, you just have to keep un until you work through whatever it is you're working through or persevere to get that, that dream job or whatever it takes, but you can't give up. Whip out your sword. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And you have to delay gratification. People with mental strength know that results only materialize when you put in the time and forego the instant gratification. That one is for sure easier said than done. It's right. a marathon, not a sprint. If you give in to those things right. early on just for that instant gratification, of course, you're you're cheating yourself out of something bigger and better in the long right. run. We try to teach that to the girls. It's so hard. How's that go over? It's not going very, <laughs> oh, very well. Um, you know that um, if they pick up a sport and or they're trying it and they don't, which is partly why getting back to my injury, I tried four times because I wanted my girls to see. Well, I didn't. I didn't get up, but I'm going to keep trying. And and I think you know this is something for this generation, we've got to teach them. We're too much instant gratification in all aspects of our lives, but things that really matter, they, it, it, it's gonna take some time. And you know it's it's easy too to give up when you're when you're told no. I mean you know this story. Oh, Some of you guys may not know it. I tried out for the Falcons cheerleading squad five times before I made it. She so did, I was though. told no over and over and over again. And it's you know every year it was changing your outlook. Like yes. I said in the beginning, it was like you know what I didn't make the team, but here's what I did learn. Here's what I did do better this year, and here are some friends that yes, I made along yes. the way. And we kind of just switch it, change it, yes. rearrange it. Yes, shift the perspective um, and the way that you are looking at a situation. That's not easy to do, but it's so important. Good for you. Also, emotions. I forgot it was five times. That's five incredible. Five times. And you know what I did well? I kept my emotions in check. How hard is that yep. to do? When things are unjust, things are wrong, things should be as they should be and they're not. And you have to keep your emotions in check because yeah. that's one of the 48 laws of power, a book by Robert Greene. Great book to read if you haven't read it. No, I haven't but read that. But the silent one always has the power. Yeah. There is power mm. in silence. I'm not so silent much. I, don't, <laughs> I yelled problem. out every cuss word in the book on the way here. One pothole, two flats. She got two flat tires on the way here, guys. City of Atlanta. City Let's of get Atlanta. These potholes Help together, her. guys. Two, not one, but two, and she's still here, and she still has a good attitude, and I'm so sorry. I had to switch it, change it, rearrange yeah, you it. you did. Yes, you did. I kept but my emotions way, in check, and by in check, us. I mean not at all. I yep. mean, I literally, <laughs> Monroe. What am I paying taxes for? I know. I wonder that, too. Sometimes. See, I just lost my cool it's okay. a little bit, but so you can, you're not supposed to lose it. She can get it back. Cool. She can get it back. You're supposed to make the calls you are afraid to make. Every moment you spend dreading the task just oh. subtracts time and energy from actually getting it done. Do it, get it over with. That is Jim's biggest pet peeve that he sees me do. He's like, don't let it, whatever, some, some. Fester. Video. Yeah, well, not just that. There's like a five second rule that he has. He saw it in like some inspirational video. Um, you know, like don't, if you think about it, you act on it within the first five, 10 seconds. Like go do it, follow through. Don't, don't put it off if you don't have to. And it's really hard. Because I'm the one that's like, mm, I'll get to that Rip in a the Band-Aid off yes. fast rather than I know. kind of, you better be making the right decision though. Sometimes it, yeah, I look at things like that and I'm like, of course, you, you got to do that when you need to do it, but are you doing the right thing? Right. Which brings me to, you have to lead when no one else is coming with you. No one else is following, but you're leading. That's the true test, test of strength. It's how well you maintain your resolve when no one else believes in what you are doing. That's especially hard. It is, because what if you're just wrong? <laughs> well, there's that. 
There's that. What? But you got to go out on a limb if it's what you believe in. It's what if it's what your heart is telling you. Yeah. I and don't like, know. I mean, I'd be like, come real, on, real, who's coming with me? Like in Jerry Maguire. Yeah. When finally Renee's up. Remember? And he's like, who's coming? Who's coming? I love that scene. And yeah. then she's like, I'm coming. Oh, and she grabs her plant. Yeah. And then he was like, really? Just you? Have God. you ever been just like loud and wrong, though? Mm. Like loud, yes. confident, and correct. Yeah. But you got <laughs> all the time. But you got to, and then you just own it, I think, at some point. And then you own it. Um, you have to be kind to people that are rude to you, also. And that's something oh. that I'm not very good with. Yeah. You have to be kind to the people that are rude with you. People that are mentally strong, they don't allow others to walk all over them. That doesn't mean that they're rude to them either. They just don't allow another person's negativity to bring them down. To bring them down. That's I tend to be kind of rude back though. Mm -hmm. That's a weakness that I'm saying. It's a, She's I'm, putting it out there I'm and I, I appreciate that. Yes, I mean, that's, that is, again, the true test of, of someone, and I always admire that, when they can, like you said, just, they're the silent ones, or you know that they are thinking it through in their mind before they just blurt something out, which I especially have a that. tough time with. I do that all but, the time. But wow, how powerful does that feel um, when you're able just to hold it in, when somebody is going off on you, and you know that that's their issue. That's all about that. You know, I know rude easy. people gonna rude. But you also have to be mm. accountable for your actions, rude people. No matter what, you've got to be. People are far more likely to remember how you dealt with a problem than they are to recall how you created it in the first place. How true is this one? Yes. Because, because when someone has has screwed up, let's say it's a customer service thing, it's all about how they recover from the yes. problem. You almost forget about the problem to begin with when somebody recovers well and right. owns it. Right. And makes and it owns right. It. Yes. Oh, those are so good. Thank you, Nikki Williams. How strong do you feel right now? I feel as strong very, as your legs. As strong as that you aching back. Legs? As that, well, they weren't strong enough to get me up. <laughs> but that's okay. It's I'll right. take those legs well, and the ability to get through it any day because those are some good looking legs, thank, Christine. That's very kind. If they would have just been a little bit stronger, I could pop right up. Yeah. Thank you, Nikki. And if there's anything any of us can do to help you with AAA or whatever. I have AAA. I okay. forgot I have that. Okay. And tire insurance. Worth its weight in gold in okay. Atlanta. Okay. There you I'm go. Set. I'm just. She's not happy. You know. But I, I'm proud of you for still getting here. Because Got a carabiner and crawled out of that pothole. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you can't keep me down. I'm mentally you can't. tough. That's right. <laughs> that, you're, Dirt under my nails. You're being tested today. Oh but make sure you, you know, Facebook her, lighten her day, uh, Instagram, Instagram her, and tell her that you were glad to see her here on ANC. We love you.